Hi, Tim Wilhelm here from Kankakee Community College in Kankakee, Illinois. Today we're going to talk about working at height for solar photovoltaic technicians. The primary focus of this instructional video is to talk about ropes, knots, and anchoring. Because you can get OSHA safety information all over the place, but I do want to, before we get into ropes and knots and anchoring, I want to point out a few things you may not see in other safety training films. Uh, let's start with a discussion of right here on the top of the head. I have on a construction grade approved hard hat. Now I want to point out the difference between this and a few others behind me. Let's go over this way. Here are, here are two other styles of hard hat or helmet in this case. I want you to see the difference first of all in the color. Nice bright white yellow, dark black. Now why would color be significant? If we are talking about putting photovoltaic arrays on roofs, more likely than not in the summertime, it's going to be hot. And in order to avoid any kind of problems due to overheating, especially in the head area, we want to avoid dark colors on the head if we can, go with light colors. Now what I've done is select three different styles here also as well as three different colors. Notice on this style there are vents at the top of the helmet. That would be great to have to vent off hot air off the top of your head. However, there is a problem with a standard construction style hard hat. We are working at height when we are on someone's roof. And when we're bending over, if this thing is not adjusted just right, let's say that my strap in the back is just a little bit loose, and when I bend over, I lose my hard hat, it rolls down the roof, and it's on the ground. So there's another style of headgear you can wear, which is typically used for tower climbing. This is called a climbing helmet. This style fits on your head, has a three-point suspension inside, and a chin strap. So now you can stand on your head if you want, and it's not going to fall off. Although it wouldn't fall off standing on your head. Do a handstand and it won't fall off. And if you're concerned about confusing people, why is this solar guy wearing a wind energy climbing helmet on the roof? You outfit it with one of these. Got solar? Now I've turned this officially into a photovoltaic roof work helmet. So starting at the top of the head, working our way down. So here's what I would do. The best of all scenarios here would be to have a white helmet with vents on the top that also somehow would affix firmly with some sort of a strap. I also like the feature on the climbing helmet of having a headlamp on the front. You know, sometimes it's nice, especially when you get to be older like me and uh, your glasses aren't quite as fine-tuned as they should be and you're doing fine work up there on the roof and the sun's just getting ready to set. It's nice to be able to flip on that spotlight and see what the heck you're doing out there in front of you. Now let's look at harnesses. This is a typical roof climbing safety harness. Notice that I have no D-rings on the side, I have no D-ring in the front. The only thing I have is a dorsal D-ring back here. Also, these things tend to be rather lightweight, which is nice when you're out working. But they also are a little bit tough to adjust. They're just kind of cheap and flimsy to me. If I was doing this on an occasional basis and I was confident I was not going to fall, this would be something that I would wear. However, there is another option. Also relatively lightweight. Another class three climbing harness. But this one outfitted with a sternal D-ring, a D-ring that goes in the front. D-rings on the side over here as well as a dorsal D-ring in the back. So, or there's the dorsal D-ring in the back right there. So this is typically again used for tower work, working at height, but it's nice sometimes having the external D-rings and the external tool loops that you can hang things on with lightweight carabiners while you're up there working on the roof so you don't have to retrieve things, come down off the roof and get back up again. It's nice to keep things at hand and out from under your